In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to solve linear systems in two variables. So a, a system of equations is simply just uh, a set of equations where you have multiple qu equations and multiple variables. That's basically what a system is. So in this case, I'm just going to be solving one using two variables. I'm just going to do two examples of each, um, two examples of substitution, and then in the next video, I'm going to do two examples of elimination. Okay, so when you're, when you're using substitution, to solve a system, you have to have a single variable by itself. So notice we have a y over here. It's all by itself. So this system is set up where we want it to. It has a variable by itself, and we can use that to basically plug into the second one. So I'm going to use that the fact that y is equal to x minus 1, and I'm actually going to plug that in to the second equation for y. Since y is equal to this, I'm going to plug that in for y. So this is going to look like x plus x minus 1 equals 7. Okay, so notice took out the y and replaced it with an x minus 1. Okay, that right there is substitution. That's, that's, that's kind of blatantly obvious. That's what substitution is. Taking something else out and putting something else in that's equivalent. Okay, now what you do is now you have a single, a single variable equation and you just need, simply need to solve that equation. Now, I put parentheses here, but I don't necessarily need them. Um, I'm not multiplying by anything out front, so there's really no need for them. But I like to have the parentheses there to emphasize the point that I substituted. But anyway, uh, combine some like terms on this side. So I get 2x minus 1 is equal to 7. And then I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Add 1 to both sides. And then divide everything by 2. Divide everything by 2. So I get that x is equal to 4. Okay. So now what I've done is I've solved for a single variable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it back into my first equation. I'm going to plug it back into the equation that I kind of used for substitution. Okay, so in that case, y is equal to x minus 1. y is equal to 4 minus 1 y is equal to 3. So I can actually very quickly solve for what the other variable is going to be. Okay, so my solution, there's a number of different ways to write the solution. Um, I usually write it as, uh, as coordinates 4, 3, okay, because we're using x's and y's. Okay, that's what I usually write for the solution. Um, that basically gives me a point where these two lines intersect. That's one way to look at it. Or you can simply write um, that x is equal to 4 and that y is equal to 3. That's another way to, um, to kind of uh, uh, write out what your solution is. Okay, so that's a very quick, very easy example of how to use substitution. Okay, so I'm going to do one more example using substitution. Okay, now... Uh, the one thing that you notice first is that when you're looking at this problem, we don't have a variable that is solved um, or that is by itself. Okay, so that's a, one of the first things I have to do is I have to take one of my equations and solve for a single variable. Now, you can take whatever, whatever variable you want to, but you want to try to make this as easy for yourself as possible. So notice here that x right here is by itself. There's no number in front of it. So that one right there is going to be the easiest one to solve for because all I have to do is take this 2y and subtract it to the other side over there with 4. So x is equal to negative 2y plus 4. Okay, so notice the difference. Take this 2y. Since it's positive, I subtracted it over to the other side. Okay, now what I have here is I have a variable by itself. I have some, something to substitute in with. Okay, so I'm going to take this portion of the equation, since that's what x is equal to, and I'm going to plug that into the second equation in for x. That's going to give me 3 times negative 2y plus 4 minus 4y equals 7. So notice the x came out, and we plugged in negative 2y plus 4. Okay, now just like last time, I have a single equation with a single variable. I'm simply just going to solve for that single variable. Uh, a couple things I got to do first. I got to take this three times everything. I got to distribute first. Negative 6y plus 12 minus 4y equals 7. Okay, now I'm just going to do, um, do some combining like terms. I'm going to uh, subtract uh, negative 6 and negative 4 is going to make a negative 10y plus 12 equals 7. This 12, I need to get the numbers on the other side, so I have to subtract 12 over to the other side. Okay, negative 10y equals 7 minus 12 is going to be a negative 5. Okay, and then after that, divide by a negative 10. Y is going to be, so divide by negative 10 here, that's going to reduce to a 1 half, a positive 1 half, because it's going to be negative divided by a negative. 
Okay. All right, so that is what y is equal to. And just like last time, we're going to take this and plug this back in to uh, what, what we use for substitution to figure out what x is going to be. x equals negative 2y plus 4. So what I'm going to do is take out the y and plug in a 1 half. So x is equal to negative 2 times 1 half plus 4. Uh, negative 2 times 1 half is simply just going to be negative 1 plus 4. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Okay, and then so my solution, how I usually write it, is I usually write this as a coordinate. Oop, you got to get the parentheses on your coordinates. There we are. Okay, so my solution is 3, 1 half. 3, 1 half. My x coordinate is 3, and my y coordinate is 1 half. All right, that's just a couple of examples of using substitution. In the next video, I will do a couple of examples of solving using elimination.